Morning grading again. <laughs> this uh, talk about a new methodology with uh, no testing stage. It's very simple. So the idea is you cannot leave testing at the end of really uh, the life cycle. No way. You look for in general, like you build a bridge. You cannot build a bridge and test it. It would be crazy. For every step in the way for requirement and design, you have to do testing. Heavy testing too, by the way. But software engineering is no different than any other engineering. So we build a system and test it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is uh, insane, by the way. We used to have, of course, software testers. They are from different departments. I don't know if they still exist or not. Uh, they not exist anymore, I guess, because again, testing, just avoid testing as a final stage of your development. It doesn't make any sense at all. And actually in everything we have life cycle for, for a product, for uh, a baby, that's a life cycle too. For a bridge, for a building, for anything you build, for a car, you have to test the requirement, you have to test the design as you build it. And of course, the coding and assembly line. So in this case, look at the diagram, which is actually, I have requirement with testing and the requirement with testing now took 60% of the work. Look at that, why? Because if the requirement is clean and actually it's tested, you're gonna be having a great development by now. But it does not exist, you lost 60%. And if not exist, you're not gonna have a design. That design is gonna be, which assigned 35% is gonna go away. And coding still, testing was design, testing was coding. And the figures is actual life cycle with no testing stage. So I took the testing and distributed it uh, for other for our three of the, of the cycles. And actually, why I didn't really add another 5% to coding? Because coding itself, the nature of coding, you test it as you go. But requirement design, we don't know how. We have no idea how to do it. So can I program requirement? Yes. Can I program design? Yes. They have it actually many different language they call specification language. <laughs> this is a big joke. Then they have the design language, the architecture language, you name it, keep going. Or modeling language. Like your mail is a modeling language. Your mail is just a tool. Doesn't even have any creativities. It's not a methodology. It doesn't do anything for you. You do it as creative work. That's why if you really look at the goal of each one of those stages, only one goal, one only goal. And this is actually discovery by itself. We'll talk about this and show you the requirement of architecture, of design, of the requirements of coding, of testing. So requirement is actually Non-functional requirement has a begin and end. So it has really a goal, which is analysis. Function, non-functional requirements is actually a quality factors. They all quality about the system. And different in list of qualities they assumed for every system. This is bizarre by itself. And all this requirement cannot be done with existing methodology and existing way we do currently with software. So I took the test and actually distributed it to requirement and design. Coding is testing with it, is a nature of coding has testing in it. But the testing I mean here, which is for the system, which is still 95% with requirement and design. So if you don't do that, and actually this would be a problem also. We don't know how to do that yet. Yes, there is many different 
uh, I wrote papers on uh, uh, use cases and stuff like that. And actually, is all in coding. It will show you how to do it in the requirement levels as well in design levels. This is actually our gift for you when we talk about those issues in software engineering. Thank you very much. And actually, I will um, thank you for listening. And I hope you like what I'm saying. And if you have any questions, please direct it to me. And we'll make a comments or maybe ask me to debate with me. This is actually, I don't mind. We really have a very good discussion with anybody who would love to spend time on this stuff. Thank you.